Hi guys, welcome to Home Studying Through Our Eyes. Uh, today we're going to show you how exactly we dug our holes for our footers. Um, we tried to search online for numerous videos and uh, articles on how to dig footers. Um, we didn't really come up with much. Machine was an option, auger was an option. Uh, we just stuck with a good old shovel, wheelbarrow, pickaxe, another maul to chop roots, a pry bar, and clamshell diggers. Um, a lot of the videos we saw, in one video we saw a guy called this a boulder. Um, you can see that one over there is about four to five times as big, and we ran into bigger that we couldn't even get out. So, uh, some of them you can use the pry bar with a good pointed end to slam down and break apart. Um, if they don't start breaking within 20 good jabs, uh, they're probably not going to break, so you might need to rebar into them and then pour the concrete. Um, so we're on our last hole out of 30. We have 29 done. Um, so after you grid everything out with your string, um, you want to just take the string and hold it back from the hole where you have marked already and measured. Give yourself plenty of space. So depending on your area, the uh, sono tubes or the footers need to be a certain depth as well as a certain diameter. So you want to make your hole probably about a foot and a half apart. Start excavating. So we got down about a foot here, and there are two large rocks that aren't moving very much. With the shovel, at least. Can you dig a little bit more dirt out. The less dirt, the more loose they are. Luckily, this one's breaking right up. Or at least the edge of it. If it's sticking out from the side a little bit, you don't really have to worry about that too much. Because your sound tube is going to go down in the middle. Hopefully you can fidget around a little bit and your fitting on top of the concrete can also be moved. And you have a couple inches of play when putting those in. Let's see what we can do about this other guy. Not too big. 
a boulder compared to the other videos we watched and they told us about. They must have been digging down south where you get about a one rock every 20 holes if you're lucky. So the technique for making this hole straight down, just make sure your shovel is flush with the hole, work it around. Each stab a little bit overlapping the one before. Stab down hard and pry out. By doing this, instead of trying to pry one little bit out, pick that little bit out with your shovel, you make a bunch of loose soil by doing this, and then you can excavate all at one time. Like so. So when you're digging your hole for your footers, you're going to run into a point about two and a half to three feet down where a shovel is no longer useful in trying to get enough soil out to make it worth it. You're going to struggle quite a bit and put in a lot more effort than you need. So what I suggest is getting a pair of post hole diggers or clamshell diggers and just going straight up and down. Takes a little getting used to. Obviously, it's different muzzles. That was a rock. Another rock. But it's much easier to get the soil out of the hole than the shovel. You don't have much play. But with this, straight up and down. So what I've been doing is going in with the shovel. I won't excavate all the loose stuff out now, just for time's sake. But I've been going in with the shovel and doing the same thing. Picking three or four times in the same spot, moving over five inches, and doing the same thing. Oop, rock way down there. Same thing here. So after getting everything loose, you just repeat the steps, go back in with your clam hole diggers, pull out the loose soil until you can't get any, and start with the shovel again, loosening. See you in a few. So once you think you're where you need to be with the hole, you just want to take any straight piece of whatever, really. In this case, I'm using the pry bar. You could use a shovel handle or even a stick if need be. You drop it across the top. Take your tape. Measure to the lowest point. And you see I'm right at about 46, 47 inches, 4 foot which is the frost depth for upstate New York. So that's how you dig a four foot hole in upstate New York with rocks and sticks and stumps and all that come with that. Stay tuned for more videos on how we do things. Uh, like, share, comment, and leave any advice or tips. Take care. Peace.